Imagine if there was a button inside of you that you didn't know existed. You've probably pressed it by accident several times, but don't know exactly where to find it. But you feel calm and centered and happier whenever you do. When you learn how to press this button, you can access calmness and tranquility whenever needed. And unlike many other things, the more you use it, the better it'll work. I'm happy you're here because today I'll teach you how to find and press that button. If you're new to the channel, I'm Martin. I'm a former Buddhist monk who spent six years living in meditation centers across Asia and Europe. And today we will learn one of the oldest meditation techniques in the world. It's specifically made to quickly bring you back to the present and calm the mind and body. I'll be teaching you my version, which has a few extra additions I picked up along the way. But we'll do it briefly so you can start immediately after watching this video and do the short exercise at the end. For a technique to truly function as a calmness button, it must be something you can always carry with you. So we won't be using any fancy accessories or loud mantras. Instead, we'll use the one thing you always have with you, as long as you are alive. Your breath. You might think that you already know your breath and there is nothing to find. But trust me, after spending tens of thousands of hours observing my breath, I've discovered how much it can teach us about ourselves and how effective it is at calming us and making us more present. To keep it simple, we will focus on the three main things I have found to help my students make this technique work for them. First, we need some technique to observe and stick with the breath. I have tried countless different methods for doing this. Still, the one that I keep returning to, not only for myself, but for all the people I've taught, is to count our breaths in a sequence. We do it by counting from one to eight and then down from eight to one. Why do we count to eight and not ten? Well, it's easy to start trying to see how many tens you can achieve and start judging yourself or comparing yourself to others. But with the number eight, that's actually less of a problem. There is one thing I have found will make this technique vastly more effective and it's such a small thing that you might not think that it makes a difference. While watching my mind while doing this technique, I noticed that the time that I lost my awareness and drifted into my thoughts was always, almost always, at the same place in a breathing cycle. If you observe your breath, you'll see that there's an in-breath, followed by a short pause as the breath turns around and turns into an out-breath. At the end of the out-breath, especially as you get calm and start to slowing down the breath, there's a pause, a bit of a longer pause, before you start your next breath. What I noticed was that when this pause happens and your object of meditation temporarily disappears, you drift into your thoughts and forget about meditating. So when you count, put the number in that pause. It will help you more than you think to stay with your breath and have a more profound meditation experience. Now that you know how to do the technique, you need to understand one thing about why it works and why it's so effective at calming you down and leading you to the present. It's easy to focus on how many reps of one to eight you can do without losing awareness, but this is not what makes you press that calmness button. Instead, this is one of the, the outcomes of having pressed it. But the calmness button's actual pressing is when you return to your breath. Every time you lose awareness and remember to come back over and over and over again is when you are pressing that button that makes you calm, relax, and ultimately happy. By consistently returning to your breath, your mind will develop concentration or stickiness of the mind. This means that you'll have to expend less effort to rest your awareness on the breath. And your awareness simply sticks by itself to whatever you're focusing on. With the mind-body focused and not distracted by all your senses, you will begin to feel a deep calmness. And that's how you press your very own calmness button. 
If you watched this far, I ask you stay with me for just one more thing, which we make it so that this isn't just intellectual knowledge, but actually something that you know works and have seen for yourself. And it will only take another minute. You must do this exercise without distractions, such as driving or doing anything that requires your attention. Instead, take one minute to close your eyes and sit down in a safe place as we do this together. Start by closing your eyes and bringing your awareness to your breath. You don't need to feel the actual sensations of the breath. Instead, it's more about being aware that breath is happening and observing with a broad awareness as you're breathing in and breathing out. Let's count together. Breathing in and breathing out. One. Breathing in and breathing out. Two. Breathing in and breathing out. Three. Breathing in and breathing out. Four. Breathing in and breathing out. Five. Breathing in and breathing out. Six, breathing in and breathing out. Seven, breathing in and breathing out. Eight, breathing in and breathing out. Seven, breathing in and breathing out, six, breathing in, and breathing out, five, breathing in, and breathing out, four, breathing in, and breathing out, Three, breathing in and breathing out. Two, breathing in and breathing out. One. I want to leave you with two more things. This is simple, but it is not an easy thing to do. Give yourself time to understand how to let go and be aware by pressing your calmness button. The best way to fail at this is to be hard on yourself for not being able to stay with your breath. Instead, be kind, be forgiving to yourself. Initially, it may be challenging to do this by yourself, but to make that easier, I do live guided meditations twice weekly here on YouTube followed by questions and answers. I've linked a recording to one of them here, and I recommend you listen to it next so that you can follow along with the group as we do this meditation together.